A pleasant good evening to you from Spirit Field here in Surprise, Arizona, home of the Ottawa Spirit. It was the backyard brawl that was to be. It was ACU in Ottawa. It was the home opener for the Spirit. And let's be honest, for AC's perspective, it didn't go well as the game script would call initially, right? At the end of the day, their overall performance was about like the sound system here at Ottawa. It just cracked at certain times. It just wasn't smooth, it wasn't sound, it wasn't crisp. But there's a lot to learn here, a lot of takeaways, and especially no quit in Jeff Bowen's football team, Ed. Absolutely, it was tough down, being down 21 nothing in the first quarter, you're already behind the eight ball, and then you have to try to find a way to rally back against this OUAZ defense, which was relentless, right tonight, Kevin? They really they were. They were on Tyler Duncan all night long. It was very hard for him to do anything tonight. Really, Tyler was under siege the entire evening. The numbers that he did come away with, and he did end up getting another touchdown pass to Gerard Favors, and that was a nice play there. One good scoring drive for the Firestorm tonight. But it was the intensity, it was the lack thereof for ACU. Mike Nisbet's team came out and they threw haymakers from the get-go. They were throwing roundhouse punches the entire night and uh, it was a TKO. The game was probably decided uh, in the late stages of the third quarter. Um, and then the, the fact remains as well, ACU didn't come here with a loaded gun tonight. They didn't have all the bullets. A lot of guys still out, mm -hmm. still trying to get some guys healthy, but it was a good measuring stick for Jeff Bowen's football team on where they are going forward. And one thing you can say, again, being down 21 nothing, you figured it would take some time for the Firestorm to get things together and get into a rhythm, which they did, Kevin. They things, did. Things really slowed down for OUAZ's offense. Of course, they scored 16 more points, but still, it took them longer to get there. So you saw the adjustments in game, and also at halftime, they made their proper adjustments. But still, it's hard when you can only score seven points and your quarterback is he's running he's running for his life the entire game for the entire 60 minutes of football it's really hard and some bright spots tonight for acu how about mr tibbets on the defensive side 11 tackles for him double digit tackles in a game that was very very physical punishing type game nice to see him stand out for acu special teams martin fontenot the fourth good to see him come in and punt we're looking for a kicker here. Abel Lipe couldn't punt it tonight. They went to Fontenot the fourth. The young man out of San Diego put the ball in the sky, flipped the field a couple of times. He was outstanding. Yes, and also A.J. Sibley, three catches for 71 yards, including a 49-yarder. So there were a lot of bright spots in a in a 30-point loss. So there's a lot of again a lot of positivity, positive things that you can build upon with these young men having these stellar outputs and these stellar performances tonight. A.J. Sibley, the young man, a freshman from Frisco, Texas was big play tonight, so that's a bright spot. But to sum it up here, 37 to seven, it was all OUAZ, it was a tough one. But for Arizona Christian, the biggest takeaway for Jeff Bowen and his staff is the belief is around football. Whatever level that you play is the biggest sign of improvement and the biggest week of improvement is from one week to the second week. ACU gets a bye next week, they'll play here in three weeks, and so they have the opportunity to get things right. And last thing, we need to say tonight, they weren't playing with a loaded gun tonight. They didn't have all of their bullets this evening. They were short, a few guys, no excuses for this football team. They'll be the first one to tell you that. They couldn't match the intensity. They didn't have the, the weaponry that they typically have here, but they're gonna reload and this team will be back, Ed. Yeah, regardless of all that stuff you said, the, the fight was there. As you mentioned, Kevin, earlier in, in our recap, the fight was never lost for the Firestorm football team and it never will be under a Jeff Bowen coached football uh, team they came out and fought for 60 minutes you and I were on the sidelines we saw the intensity that these young men had and they continued to keep that intensity up on the sidelines but as you mentioned they were just outmatched tonight for the ACU football nation and my partner Ed Cole I'm Kevin Derryberry until next time so long for now good night good night